I don't know why that happened. I think we're good now. Hang on, I gotta wait for people to join back in. I don't know what happened. My phone, somehow my phone got back onto my home screen. I don't know what happened. So now I gotta wait for everybody to rejoin. All right, for anybody joining back with us, um, I don't know what happened, but I saw that the stream had froze on us, so, and my phone was back on the home screen, so I don't, I'm not too sure what happened here, but, uh, yeah, I guess we'll start shooting shots again here shortly. Hopefully everybody will join back. Hi Tom, how are you? Sorry, I don't know what happened with the other stream. My phone just was back on its home screen for some reason. So, uh, I guess we'll just get back to throwing shots and um, just comment down below any requests of, sh of split shots that you want to see or anything you guys want to see. Just let me know in the comments and we'll keep shooting. You ready? Strike ball, Christ. What is that? That's my dad. That's my dad that said that. Yeah, he thinks he's funny. All right. Uh, we'll get started here. All right, ready, Luke? Oh, wait a minute. This kid wants to see a strike first. All right, Tom. Hey, I'm going to make reset it.
Oh wait, sorry, I didn't see that. <laughs> Uh, Tom, just a clarification. I don't like lifting up the masking units. They're not secured as much as they should be. Um, but if they were, I would. My apologies for that. Or actually, I mean, oh wait a minute. Here, we'll do this. Yeah, I got my music stand. Hey, hey Luke, hold up one sec. Let's see how this works. How's that, Tom? Everything's gonna be backwards, but better than nothing. We'll try that. Hopefully the phone doesn't fall.
damn it. I was so close to catching it. Oh, damn. I was so close. We've been having this problem on this lane for a while. We have the pinwheel clutches, but actually I might not have set the counter the right way. I'm not sure. But um, we've been having a double feeding problem on this lane as well as one other lane for a while now. Um, the only thing we, the th what we think it is, is we have the pinwheel clutches here we think sometimes when it stops, it doesn't stop soon enough. Uh, comment down what you guys think it is while I fix this jam here. Oh, it's all up by the front. Oops. All right. I'll just... off the deck a second here I don't know what is causing that, and it's really starting to frustrate me. So, I'll reset this lane here, and we'll throw a strike. Are you watching the stream on your phone? Now how, oh, there it is. All right, Tom, we will throw, we will, Attempt to get a strike using a bowling pin. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, can you reset? Can you reset it with the blue button on the ball return real quick? Thanks. All right. Here's attempt number one. All right. Ready, Tom? I hope you're watching. Let's see who else is watching. Oh, we got six people. All right, we can do it. All right, here it is. Oh. <laughs> Close. I guess I'm gonna have to throw some shots because Luke doesn't know how to bowl. <laughs> Should I try again, Tom? Till I get it? All right, Tom wants me to try again. <laughs> Can you and your friend throw a strike with two balls? Sure. I'm gonna have to shut off the sweep, so in case we get a late one. All right, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to strike with two balls. Wait, let me make sure that was the right switch. I'll just turn them both off. All right, that way we won't smash the sweep. All right, we have a request to throw a strike with two balls. I just. I turned off the sleep and table motors. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh my God. So, all right. We'll start right here. All right. Let me try. This is gonna be all right. Strike with two balls. This is gonna be all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a slow one first, and then I'll throw a fast one. Strike with three balls. Oh no, it's not even gonna stay on. Alright. It's not gonna drop, so.
<laughs> All right. That was a strike with two balls. All right. Yeah, it's not going to reset because I turned the sweep off. All right. We'll try we'll try a strike with a bowling pin now. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> Thanks, Caleb. So now I'll turn the sweeping table back on. Take a. You know what? We'll take a couple. Now we are going to try a strike with a bowling pin once again. All right. Oh, wow, it's not lagging that much now. That's nice. So you guys can see it, the video on the iPad right there. All right. Strike with a bowling pin. Attempt number two on video. As Luke attempted to clear out that mess that we left with the bowling pin, we will wait for him to try and convert the spare, with, even though he is not an uh, actual bowler. He's just a rec rec recreational bowler, amateur. Oh, and that's a big fat zero. Oh. Okay. It is now 41 degrees outside on a nice November 21st, 2021. And now we are going to attempt another strike with a bowling pin. With the Amblake 2 old style pin. Let's try. I did it like three times. That ball is nice and heavy. Alright guys, should we do more requests or should we just throw strike shots? It's your decision. I'm trying to entertain you guys on this fabulous Sunday night. And that's a spare! Oh, it's a chop! Oh! So close! Alright, now it's the moment everyone's been waiting for. Joe the Pro bowling two-handed. We are going to attempt to throw a two-handed ball. Something I do not like. But let's see it. Are you ready? That was like the worst shot of my whole life. I know I've been the balls, so mine keeps on hitting the gutter. Set up 20 pins. Oh, that's a good one. Should we do a 20 pin strike? <laughs> I'll go for that. That's a lot. Guys, should we do a 20 pin strike? Go ahead. What? Ethan Z says we should. We have that's a two, that's a two to five vote. I think we should. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. We we have got three approvals for twenty pins. Who are the other two that are here? Okay, they remain nameless. We are setting up the twenty pin strike on lane twelve and November twenty first of two thousand twenty one. This is the kind of stuff that happens in 2021, all right, people? All right, so we are going to kill the power to the pin setter and set up 20 bowling pins. 30? Oh, that's Luke saying that. Okay, 
That would have been a little too rough for this video. Anybody just joining us now, we are setting up 20 bowling pins and we are going to attempt to get a strike. So now, as proper safety measures say, we will, in fact, kill the power to the bowling machine. We will pull the plug, as safety measures say, and now we will enter the machine since there is no power going to it. Ouch. All right, so let's get rid of these for now. So, or actually, we can just get the pins out of the cups like that. All right. So let's put, let's do it like this. Let's use the rack that we already have. Borrow pins from the top. Oh, who the heck did that on the new pin? Huh, jerks. It's hard to do this with one hand. One second, guys. I'm just going to set this down. You guys can take a look at lane 11 while I set this up. You know what? Give you the cup view. Oh, that was close. I almost just ended the video. That would have sucked. as we take a break to set up this shot. <laughs> you gotta say something, right? Okay. Did somebody say something? Tell me what they're saying. say now that is kind of messy but i think we're gonna go for that you know what we're gonna, we're gonna move this back pin here over a little make it look even that's what we're looking for all right what do you think about that luke That's a lot, <laughs> that's what we get. So we'll turn the switches on and we will plug in our pin setter. Okay, so I'm gonna, the angle I'm gonna use is this right here. All right, we'll lower the, All right, I think that's a... All right, guys. Yes, we have, we have fire in the comments. Okay. Now, Joe the Pro, 
All right, guys, I hope you liked that attempt. Um, I did not intend for the 10 pin to still be standing, but as we know, stuff happens. And now, by Luke Felix, we are going to see a 10 pin strike attempt. And I think we, I think we can do it as an amateur bowler, a recreational bowler. This is his first attempt at getting all 10 pins completely in the pit on the magic carpet. Are we ready? And he goes and he gutters. It's over. It is over. His career, his life, all live on YouTube to thousands of people, and he fails. How do, what do you have to say for yourself? You suck. Okay. I hope I'm making people laugh by using my uh, spectator voice here. Oh, this is a much better attempt. And he does it! Maybe two attempts, but he gets it done. And that is what matters. Okay, we are going to watch a live 82.30 pin spotter in action. Can he do it? Can he get all 10 down again? And he does it! That's a double! Uh, we have never seen such a thing. That was stupid. Let's see it. Oh, and it's in the channel! How could you get the double and then throw it in the channel? We will never know. This is a good workout for the respot cells. And he recovers successfully. We are coming at you live. And we had a live view of the vertical ball lifts. See you, Tom. It's an eye pin. Can't see what they're saying. Do that at an 8270 house. We will try to get that worked on as we see Luke Felix's attempt. Oh, and he failed. That would have been a good 10 pin shot for the 710. as we see the cups. And the 8230 is loaded. What a ball! No dead wood left on there, only in the magic carpet. Let's look at the pit.
Can he convert the spare? Can he convert the spare? Oh, and as we heard him display, he cannot. got to change that race by itself. And he fails to throw the ball on time. Is it just me or do you like good attempt? Is it just me or do you really like this angle? That's what I mean. So see when the when the pin counter counted the tenth pin, it uh that pinwheel stopped. Now it resumes. Here I'll show you the clutch. Ceiling tile. So as you can see, this part is spinning, and when it counts to 9 to 10, it shuts off. And that's what stops the pin. Now, after it spots, it turns back on.
I replace this roller here. Cool! Oh my god. Alright, here, you wanna take a break and I'll bolt? Oh, look, we got a pin in the rack. Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, we got to change that respot saw. Can you reset it, please? All right, so I'm going to leave the camera up here for a few shots, and we'll see if I can bolt them. I, f I can throw some strikes. Actually... See the ball. There we go. Way to clear out the channel.
All right, everybody, we are going to start doing splits again. So comment down below some splits you'd like to see. Oh, I gotta turn, I gotta turn the volume down on the iPad, one sec. All right. Let's see here. Four, eight, ten. You got it, Dakota.
Yeah, sorry, Dakota. Somebody called me. That's why I cut out. Thank you, everybody, to, for tuning in. I appreciate it. No, recycle it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Should be good now. So, I hope you guys are liking these live videos. Two more times. Um, I try my best to make them interesting for you. And um, if there's anything I can do different to make it better, just let me know. Thanks, Dakota. All right. Oh, hi, Chad. How are you doing? Well, all right. I'll set that up. I'll let, I'm gonna have him shoot at a full rack first because I gotta set it up in the rack. All right, you can shoot.
All right, let's see another one. Thanks, Chad. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we got to change that respot saw out. Oh, good try. Thanks for all the feedback, guys. I appreciate it. We're still at 329 subscribers. I was hoping we'd get a few more. A few weeks ago, we got 30. How did it know there are no pins there? I thought it was going to lower the table and find no standing pins and place a new set. So, uh, hi Tom. Hey, to the fire alarm tech guy, 4444. Um, that is because we have the chassis modified. So it, it has a normal strike cycle and it makes it go faster because there's really no need for the table to go down with the new scoring systems. And, uh, oh, good try. And, uh, um, so yeah, it's just a modification with the new scoring system. We have AccuScore. I think it's called AccuScore Plus. So here's the strike cycle for you again. So there's uh because the reason that the 8230s and some of the 8270s used to do that is because there were detectors on the respot cells that would tell the machine if there were standing pins or not. But since we have the scoring cameras now, there's no need for that. All right, let's see a double loop. We're not, we're not gonna stay on much longer. We're almost finished. What? Uh, maybe. Oh, came in a little light. That's okay. Can he convert the spare? It's been a very big trouble. Oh yeah, sorry Chad, I meant to reply. Yeah, definitely. We cannot tell you the location of the bowling center at this time. Sorry, Tom. Good spare. Caleb asked, is it possible to get the short gutter ball or corner pin cycle on an 8230? What do you mean by that, Caleb? No, it, the camera tells the pin setter that they're See, 
he left that spare, that'll tell the scoring system, this camera will tell the scoring system that he got six pins down. And if he gets a strike, then it'll tell the scoring system that there are no pins left and he, he gets a strike, if that makes sense. And he made it. Good shot. Oh man, we got 10 viewers on here. Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. Brooklyn in the house. Oh, here I'll show you. So basically, all I know is that. So this wire right here. It plugs in to the circuit board that's in the chassis. That it's a strike cycle wire. So basically, like if I were to if I were to unplug this, then the table would drop down, but it just wouldn't set pins. So there we go. These are the chassis we got. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, so basically with these with these sweep motors here, they're so old that you can't modify them to go in reverse. Like on the 8270s, they have they have like a little uh, module that sticks out of the side that's added on to the motor that tells it that to reverse when it gets like a certain signal. I think that's how that works. Good question. You all done? My turn. Oh, you want to bowl? Oh, okay. All right, I guess we're going to bowl. So uh, I'll watch your comments from the front, and I'll reply to you in the comments. Thank you. I'm not going to stay on much longer, so any more questions, leave them in the comments.
Check out the wood lanes one last time before we get off today. All right, everybody. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, we're live every Sunday night at 5.30. If you guys have any requests or video recommendations, please put them in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed watching us bowl. Uh, this is Luke's first live stream with us. Hopefully he'll come back next week. And, um, oh yeah. So I finished, I finished with a 231. Luke finished with a 139. Not bad for a beginner. Like I said many times, he's an amateur bowler. Oh, he's going to throw one more for us. Let's, uh, let's zoom in on that. I don't want to get the sign in the video. All right, go ahead. Bullet hook. And he comes in light. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, and peace. Turn the, oh, turn the post notification bell on. And thanks for tuning in tonight, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>